Hello and thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be over the times 10 rule of place value. Before we get into the rule, we do need to talk about multiplying by 10 and 100. Here are some examples here. Now, in these examples, you see 10 times 2, and I know that that equals 20. Now, 10 ends in a 0, so that means my answer when I multiply by 10 will end in a 0. 10 times 4 is 40. 10 ends in a 0, my answer ends in a 0. 10 times 6 is 60, and the same rule applies. Let's look at some other examples. You have 3 times 4, 3 times 40, and 3 times 400. Well, the basic fact here is 3 times 4, and I know that that's 12. 3 times 40 is going to be 120. Now, one of my factors ends in a 0, so my answer will end in a 0. And 3 times 400 is 1,000. 200. I see that 400 ends in two zeros, and so my answer will end in two zeros. Let's look at one more example. Now this one, 5 times 8, the answer to that actually is 40, and 40 ends in a zero, but it's not because one of my factors ended in a zero. That's just the answer to that multiplication fact. 5 times 80 is 400, and that zero is at the end of your answer and 5 times 800 is 4,000. So these are some examples of multiplying by 10 and 100 and some of the patterns you'll see when multiplying times numbers that end in a zero and 100 ending in two zeros. So let's get into this times 10 rule of place value. So you have to pay attention to two things whenever you're looking at numbers to see if they follow the times 10 rule. You have to have two digits that are the same, and those two digits have to be next to each other. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Let's take the number 522. I have two digits that are the same, two and two, and those two digits are next to each other. So this number would follow the times 10 rule of place value. Now, let's look at this rule a little more. The two in the ones place is worth two, the tens place is worth 20, and the hundreds place is worth 500. So here's where the rule comes into play. When I'm moving in this direction, I am multiplying the ones place by 10. So two times 10 gives me 20. And I would read this description like this. The two in the tens place is 10 times greater than the two in the ones place. And that is the times 10 rule of place value. Let's look at another example. Here I have 4,431. And as you can see, I have my two digits. They are the same and they are next to each other. So the times 10 rule applies to this number. Now, the ones place is worth one, tens place is worth 30, hundreds place is worth 400, and the thousands place is worth 4,000. Here's where the times 10 rule plays in. If I move in this direction, I take the four in the hundreds place, 400, and I multiply it by 10, and that gives me 4,000. So when I'm talking about this relationship, I can say that the four in the thousands place is 10 times greater than the four in the hundreds place. And that is the times 10 rule of place value. Now, if we go in this direction to get 10 times greater, then if I moved in the opposite direction, I would be finding numbers that are 10 times less. And let's talk about that because you're going to see numbers like that as well. Now, moving in this direction, I would take my 20, I would divide it by 10, and I would get two. So I would say that the two in the ones place is 10 times less than the two in the tens place. And I could also say that the two in the ones place is one tenth the value of the two in the tens place. Let's look at it with our 4,431 number. Again, moving in this direction, I can say that 4,000, if I divide it by 10, I would get 400. 
And so I would say that the four in the hundreds place is 10 times less than the four in the thousands place. I can also say that the four in the hundreds place is one tenth the value of the four in the thousands place. And that is the times 10 rule of place value. So here you really see the rule of place value play out. Here's how you read this number, 444,444. And all the digits are the same, and all of the digits are next to each other. So the times 10 rule really plays out on this number. So if I'm going in this direction, the four in the ones place, and I go here, times 10, I get 40. And then 40 times 10 gives me 400. 400 times 10 gives me 4,000. And I could keep going in this direction, multiplying each digit by 10 to get the next greatest number, going to the left. Now the place value rule also applies if I'm going towards the right. 400,000 divided by 10 gives me 40,000. 40,000 divided by 10 gives me 4,000. And I could keep going in this direction in the same way, and my number would get smaller, the value would get smaller. So let's answer a question using the times 10 rule. Here you have the question in the number 2,577,398, the seven in the 10 thousands place is blank times blank, then the seven in the thousands place. Well, here's the seven in the 10 thousands place. Here's the seven in the thousands place and the seven in the 10 thousands place is 10 times greater than the seven in the thousands place. Because if I go in this direction and I multiply times 10, I get a number that's 10 times greater. So I would write in the seven in the 10 thousands place is 10 times greater than the seven in the thousands place. Let's answer one more question over the times 10 rule of place value. Which number below has a digit in the thousands place that is 10 times greater than the digit in the hundreds place? So you need to look at your answer choices and look at the thousands place and the hundreds place. I see in A that the thousands place is a seven and the hundreds place is a seven. So the times 10 rule does apply to that number because I have two digits that are the same and they're next to each other in the places that they're asking me about. In this case, here's the thousands place. I have a seven and a zero in the hundreds place. This one will not work because it's not the same digit. C, I have a seven in the thousands place, but I have a six in the hundreds place. That one will not work either. And D, I have a seven in the thousands place, but I have a one in the hundreds place. So I do not have two digits that are the same and next to each other. So is it true that the seven in the thousands place is 10 times greater than the seven in the hundreds place? Yes, this is true of A, 5,457,798. I hope this video helped you understand the times 10 rule of place value a little better. If you'd like to see more helpful math videos in the future, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in any of the resources featured in this video, please read the description below. Thank you for watching.